Hey, what's up, Josh? A uh, quick demo video for you for your Kai Undi Mundi lightsaber. Um, I hope I, I pronounced that correctly. Um, just got this done today. I've actually been working on this guy for a few days. Uh, quite, quite proud of this one, actually, because this was very difficult for me um, in, in terms of, you know, it's very different from what I normally do. Uh, this has a working bar graph in it right here, an accent pixel. Um, I would have made a sliding chassis, you know, just a wireless sliding chassis. But the problem with that is your, your switch is right here. It's towards the back. Um, so I had to figure that out. Uh, this is a one button setup. So you've got your one button right here or your one switch right there. And then this has motion controls also. Um, but what I ended up doing was I have a three piece chassis in here. So my first piece of chassis is about this long or so. It holds your uh, CC Sabres LEDs in there, and then it also holds the battery right behind that PCB, and, and that's all one holder. So that goes in there, it stays in, you'll never see it. Then the second piece of the chassis is right here, um, and it holds your board and everything. Let me just take this off and I'll show you what I did. You get to everything from unscrewing the pommel, and then you'll see your speaker right here. So th this just falls out right into your hand. And then when you look in there, you've got uh, access to your profi board. Um, you will have to get an adapter for a smaller recharge port if you have the standard 2.1. And then the, and uh, you can find those at a custom saber shop. And then it's got your uh, speaker pogo pins there in the middle. And then it's got your kill key right there that I told you I'd put in here for you. So you can take your board out really easily with a pair of tweezers. And then you can put your data cable in there. I've done everything while this guy is wired up. Um, but that's the second piece of your chassis. So that's, uh, that's the piece you see right there. And then the third piece being, um, your speaker pod. So I've got a 28 millimeter speaker in here with your speaker PCB. This goes in here. This is sanded to go in here nice and smooth, but it's the, it's the exact diameter, but, um, it's made to slide out easily. So you don't have trouble accessing everything behind it. And then I went in on your pommel and printed a spacer right here that actually presses up against the speaker. I didn't want the back of the pommel threads pressing up against the speaker because they're kind of fat. Uh, I didn't want to take up that real estate on the speaker. So I printed a thin ring that when you um, put the speaker in and you lock this guy down, there's no movement and the speaker works great. So, um, and we're going to go through all that. But anyway, this was um, an, a very unorthodox build for me, but I'm glad it worked out. So what you want to do when you take everything out and flip that kill key, you probably won't be able to get it with your fingers. Um, I've just been using like a pair of tweezers or I've got this Allen wrench here right now just because we're doing this demo. I just come in here and flip it on. Up is on and you'll see your LEDs go on there for a second. And then we'll just take our speaker, we'll put it in and then we'll lock it in with the pommel. You've got your bar graph there. The first three bars of your bar graph are red and then the rest are green. And then you requested that red LED right there for your accent. So that's what I gave you. Um, you could swing on like I just did, twist off, or you could just tap your activation button right here. You see everything's working in there. We'll throw a blade in. It does take a one inch diameter blade. I brought a full length blade out here tonight. Lock this blade down real quick. This is an emperor font. So you have, uh, I gave you a red unstable on this guy. And then I'm running your accent LEDs. I'm actually running them off the uh, speaker pad. So um, they are responsive to sound. And then we just hold our button down to get to the next sound font. We're going to cycle through these.
being that it is a one button, it's gonna take me a second to cycle through them. On a two button, you can just keep clicking fast. Obviously, I left all of the stock fonts on your card. We're almost there. We should be coming up on Luke. I am a Jedi. There we go. Like my father before me. So if we wanted to hit the button. You got Luke right here. Nice smooth swing. Flash on flash. <laughs> Gave you an Obi Wan. This is a responsive blade on the Obi Wan, so it will turn white when you swing it. Go to the next one. Luke Skywalker. It's a different. Uh, so one was um, from the re one Luke was the return, and one is the LS six. This, this green blade is slightly different. This is more of the Cal Kestis style blade, but I just kept it green for Luke. So you can see everything's working well there. Accent stays on when the blade is on and so does your bar graph. Um, be, let, let me take the blade out real quick and I'll explain to you what I did with the bar graph. Um, because it's an LED bar graph, what I did was, uh, you, what you typically do, or at least what I do on these is I take the whole positive side, all of the legs. I forget how many there were. There were quite a few though, 10, eight to 10 legs. And I solder them all together. And then um, on the other side for the negative side, I solder them all together. That way I can run my power wire to one side and it hits all those legs. And then I run my, um, on, on the negative, I, I do the same thing. I run my, uh, my negative line and to one spot, but it hits all those legs and then uh, wired that straight to the board that way. But anyway, uh, that's your saber. Uh, to turn everything off, we'll just do the same thing. We'll take this guy. Don't be afraid to crank this down because it, it is meant to be tightened down so it doesn't come loose on you when you're swinging it. So we'll take this off when you're all done and then just come in here and flip your kill key. Well, you gotta take the speaker out. Come in here and flip your kill key. Just like that, off. And then we'll put this back. Uh, this is a, this battery was fully charged before I uh, wired it all up. So you probably go a while before you have to charge it. But anyway, I hope that you liked the way this came out. This was a little tricky. Let me know if you got any questions. If not, I probably hang on to this. I've got one other saber to send you. Um, I've got this guy and then I've got your uh, saber from Space Junk Sabers that I need to install and then probably all three of these guys will go out in the same box. All right, thanks.